Happy Monday, Archer Review. Time to talk phosphorus. You've got a client with a FOS level of 5.3. You see the normal reference range here, 2 to 4.5. So what can possibly cause this condition? We've got to select all that apply. Remember to use those SATA testing strategies and break this down into a bunch of true or false questions. First, A, can tumor lysis syndrome cause a high phosphorus? Yes, this is true. Tumor lysis syndrome happens when a solid tumor bursts open and releases its contents into the bloodstream. One of those contents is a whole lot of phosphorus, which means that the blood content increases rather quickly, and this is super dangerous. Next, hypoparathyroidism. True or false, can this cause a high phosphorus level? Again, true. Low PTH, parathyroid hormone, causes a low calcium level. Parathyroid hormone regulates our calcium level and they go together. But calcium and phosphorus, they have an inverse relationship. So hypoparathyroidism causes hyperphosphatemia, that high phosphorus level. And that means that C, hypercalcemia, must be false. Because if I have a high calcium level and calcium and phosphorus have an inverse relationship, then I wouldn't have high calcium and high phosphorus at the same time. C, false, cross it off. Next question, we have renal failure. True or false, when the kidneys fail us, do we have a higher phosphorus level? The answer is true. The kidneys stop filtering very well, that phosphorus builds up in the bloodstream, and we have a high level. Lastly, E, anorexia, a loss of appetite is false. When we lose our appetite and don't eat very much, we don't take in very many electrolytes, and our phosphorus level will actually go down, not up. A, B, and D are correct. Great work, Archer nurses. We'll see you over for more practice at archerreview.com.